Good evening and welcome to it. This is Chess and Wine yet again. This is Eddie Villa hosting a very special guest for the evening. Like we're on an interview series. <laughs> so we're going to be speaking to Luzu Kondinese, the current president of the Eastern Cape Chess Federation. We welcome him on the show. Mr. Nenise, good evening, sir. <laughs> Luzuko. Yes, sir. <laughs> Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, sir. I'm all right. I'm all right. Thank you. Um, we're happy to have you on Chess and Wine. Do you drink wine, by the way? Do you drink wine? Chess and wine. Do you drink wine? Are you a lover of I wine? Think there's a, I think there's a problem with it. There's, there's a problem with the audio. Ne? I think it's, it's a bit screechy. I cannot hear some of the, of the things you're saying there. Oh, okay. How about now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, can you can try and speak then. I'll, I'll just let you know if I can hear you clearly. All right. Now, I just wanted to know first thing. Do you drink wine? Oh, me? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, uh, yeah, I, I actually drink the touch. I don't drink that much. You don't drink that much? What's your favorite kind of wine? Like, if you were to drink wine, would you, would you go for white or red? No, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not used to wine. You I don't just do the church only. <laughs> oh, you drink the blood of the lamb. <laughs> <laughs> you drink the blood of Jesus Christ during a uh, communion time. <laughs> eh? Yeah, you know almost the Holy Communion. The Holy Communion. <laughs> I get it, I get it. Very good introduction to... Yeah. yeah. I you drink wine. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously you're a lover of chess, right? Yeah. Chess. Hello. Yes, uh, I, I'm. I'm speaking. I'm. I'm talking about chess now. Hello. Yes. Yeah, I'm listening. You are uh, obviously a lover of chess. No, I actually, I, 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 I love the game. I enjoy it, man. It's my, it's my game, you know. I'm always at it most of the time, you know. Give us a brief history so, of your. That's what I enjoy doing chess. Give us a brief uh, history. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Oh. Yes? A brief history of your involvement with chess, like when you were introduced to it, uh, how you got into it, and uh, where you are right now with it. Oh, okay. No, the first time I played chess, it was 2001. Mm. I was in high school doing grade 11. Uh, it was on the break time. It was break time. I saw these guys watching the sport and they were staring at it. it was, they were so serious while they were looking at this thing. And when I just got in, uh, got closer to them, I was seeing horses, you know, and <laughs> some things with crosses. And I was wondering what is going on here. You know, I'm used to checkers. I was used to checkers then. I used to play checkers a lot. Uh, and then when I, I actually check up most, you just play, you know. Yeah. You don't take that long to play, but those guys were so serious. And they were looking at this board, you know, and I couldn't believe it. And I stayed, I stood there watching them, mm. watching the board. <laughs> and then there was that, there was that one, one guy actually moved the piece day, which was the, the night, which was the horse to me yeah. at the time. And then what, I, what, I, what confused me is that they were using all the squares, you know? Because in Chekhov, he used use only the dark squares. Yes, yeah. So uh, they, they just push and they just push everywhere over the board. And then I thought, no, man, I don't know this thing. What's going on here now? <laughs> so I got hooked from then. I never stopped because that thing was just confusing. These guys were confused. When I asked them, when the bell was ringing, Guys, can you teach me this thing? You know? <laughs> so that's when I got into chess, then I played from there. I never stopped. 
And you know the funny thing. Um, <laughs> you know, the funny, it's an interesting thing because also in um in the, I've written a book about my my history, my involvement with chess, the coach life adventures through chess. And there's a part where I write the story of how I, I got introduced to chess. And I think the, the same experience where you watch people playing, and then you get confused now because you're looking at the faces and you see that these people are actually interacting on a higher level. It's deep, <laughs> and that's what you, it, it just gets you curious. <laughs> so that's how I got into chess. I, I saw these guys who are so serious. I could not believe it. Why are, this, are these people so serious? You know. Mm, mm. So I just, I just got into hooked into hooked. You know, I just got into hooked in the game. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I started. And then what happened? <laughs> Yes, yes, yeah. Then it was Sasu. It was in TUT 2004, ne? That. Yeah. And then the year after, we played. And actually, uh, that's when actually I played, I went to go and play for Border, which is now, uh, it was it was an old demarcation of the Eastern Cape. Actually, when you play for Border, you've got that color. You get so excited that you're one of the best players around, you know. <laughs> so I was playing under 20 then, you know, 2005, mm. uh, I was selected. And I was playing during the time with some of my friends. Yeah, even the guy who was in East London, who we were playing together, it was Ashley Fermak, who was in, uh, who was in the Alexander X Cup. He was my teammate then, you know. Mm. Yeah, we were playing, uh, 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 we went to the first SHCC 2005 in PE. Oh, wow. So, oh. yeah, but <laughs> at home, at home, this thing was not understood, you know. What is this chest? You know, most in township, people don't know this thing. And they just look at you, why, why do you love this thing so much, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and they never actually focused a lot on it. You know, you always want money most to go and play, and the parents will, will not be having those monies for you to go. And then most of the time you're being deprived, you know, of yeah, of the opportunities. Of people are getting. Because you, you have to hustle. I used to walk from one zone to another just to go and play, you know. Mm. No. I used to walk miles. You know, what? just to go and play with other people that I know from other, other units. For practice, practice right? Yes. You know? yes. <laughs> distances. Just walk. Yeah. I used to walk distances. Like, you mean four or five kilometers long? I think about these distances, I would never walk. 
Do you mean like three kilometers, four kilometers distances, or how do you mean? How long? No, not no, not three kilometers. Three kilometers is very small. <laughs> About twenty. Twenty kilometers, you walk the walking distance just to go and play chess, and then you know, and later you're gonna have to go home. Twenty. How long would you walk twenty kilometers? <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, I. Okay. Uh, how long would a twenty kilometers walk be, though? How long will that will that walk be? No, you you walk because you know you're gonna go and play other good guys, you know. Yeah, but that's like walking. That's I think. When I met the guys, legs of legs of legs of. Yeah. Hours of walking, right? The hour, no, the hours. It's definitely hours of walking. So you walk hours. You don't walk just for like fifteen yes, minutes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> no, no, not minutes. It's an, you walk more than an hour just to go and play chess. You know. Yeah. So that's that's, that's some serious yeah, sacrifices. You walk, you walk distances. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the longest distance I've ever walked for you chess walk was like five, four, five kilometers. Yeah, for just. Walking from Sopapa to Banya no, Mazan. No, five kilometers. Five, five kilometers is very small, man. <laughs> five kilometers is very small. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, you want to actually meet strong players, you know? Mm, mm. You want to go and play, you know? That's why I met the, the, the team called Vishkan Z in, in Tanzania. You, you want to be challenged. I understand so that. I understand the feeling. I understand the drive. I understand that going yeah. for that, for that... And that hunger for the brain, you're just looking for that mental stimulation, that thing that gets the whole entire brain lighting up. I mean, that's the thing about chess. I mean, that's what gets us that way. <laughs> but let's move on from your involvement in playing. Let's, let's go to your involvement in administri ad administering. So you've, you've had an experience in administrating before as well, right? Like, let's go to your history with that now. When did you start getting involved with, let's say, coaching? Let's say maybe... He said the chess administration. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, the chess administration, I got into chess administration, actually, I could say when I was in Polytechnicon. Ne? Yeah. But it was not that much serious because I had to groom people there mm. so that they can be part of the ex core of the school. Mm. Then actually they did well because I was only focused on coaching. Then I, uh, then, then I actually stopped playing chess for quite some time because I had to go and find work. Yeah. You know, you know, most when you when you when you done tertiary, done school, you know, mm. you have to go go in Fukuza and find work. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you need to make a living. Mm. You know. Then I, I was away from chess for 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 quite some time. Mm. You won't believe it. You know, I was away for fifteen years. Fifteen. <laughs> 15 years. Because uh, whenever, actually, I know, 2006, I went, I, I did go to Claremont. There was a tournament in Claremont. I think it was also in HM. I met, I was, I was very young. There was those guys, Lillian Boa, Kenny Solomon, all these guys, Kenny, 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 Kenny Solomon, Kenny Solomon. Kenny Solomon, the yeah. only grandmaster in South Africa. Very young. Yes. Very young that time. Yeah, and I can't yeah, understand him being close time, to Lillian Boa. <laughs> well, not recognize each other that much because I was not I was not in that level as yet when they were playing there I was fascinated with these guys and um when you say as yet you mean you have been at that I level to, I to, I to chess because but you see when you say you were, you were not I understand that but I just wanted to 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 to, to get something out so when you're saying you were not at that level with the Kenny Solomon and the others as yet. <laughs> it implies that you at some point got to that level. Eh? It implies that you at some point did get to that level. <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to get to that level at some point, but the problem is my background was not favorable to chess at all. You know? Oh, yes. Then I had to stop playing chess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is which is one of the serious issues that gets yeah, that, that, that the struggle that a lot of players coming from disadvantaged backgrounds have. Obviously, 
uh, with advancing yeah. in chess yeah. because if you're not from a background that allows you to afford to yeah. compete in like high level tournaments obviously for um, exorbitant fees or with a whole lot of traveling costs or accommodation costs and all that it's not easy to <laughs> advance so that's what you mean when you're saying yeah. your background eh? yeah. mm, mm, mm. all right so yes it was, it was a lot of it so you disappeared yeah, from chess you disappeared no, no, I had to stop doing chess. in 2006. 2006 then i stopped completely then and i stopped 2006. and then until until then what year when did you get back to it when did you get more involved again no, I haven't, I haven't, no did you you want you want you want you want to believe that i got back 2020. <laughs> <laughs> 2020 that's like um two years ago right how did you like give us a, did, 2020 just now how did how did that happen? How was that uh, the return like? What brought you in? What in we was what event actually? Um, what's the word? No, the, the, last, the last of the game never. Listen, I had to stop going to chess ne, because yes. of the situations I was experiencing. Yeah, but the love of chess has never ended. Of course, know? yes, never. <laughs> you know, you know when you when you when you when you long for, when you long to play chess, but there's no one who's there. You know, yeah, and no one actually cares about chess, and no one actually speaks about chess. No one knows chess, you know. But that's the so reason. I think that's the one main reason that gets us creating clubs, that gets us um, teaching people how to play chess, or that gets us sort of involved in trying to keep the game alive in in many of the areas where we find ourselves. Because of the love, we always want to be happy. We always wish. You want to want. You always want to have somebody to play with. You even teach your own kids just to make sure that at least even in the house there is someone that knows how to play the game. So, but yeah, I'm getting back to the question. What is it in 2020 that got you back? Like, was it a tournament that you attended and that made you feel, I want to go back? Or something you saw on TV or a book you were reading that spoke to chess? What is it? What what event led to that? No, 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 actually, I started searching, man. I started searching again. Yeah. Up until I found... uh, some players uh, uh, here in, in, in uh, this side, uh, Chris okay. they, was, they were very, they were young then. I started playing with them, and also I got in contact with Ashley once again and uh, some other guys in, in in East London. Then I said, "No, man, guys, I still I still like this." You know, actually we we re, we re, we, re, we were reunited, you know. Mm, mm. And then there were quite a lot of guys that we were not seeing. I said, no, guys, let's come back. Let's push us once again. It was the, the team of our year was one of the strongest teams, according to us. Né? Yeah. So we said, no, guys, let's push us once again and see what we can do moving forward. But I'll try and build the side of the Zani. Because no one plays chess here in, in, in my region, you know, which is the area I'm staying in. No one was playing chess at all, you know. Yeah. Then I had to actually find the board. Uh, yeah, and then I tried to uh, try to recruit some kids, you know, mm. during that COVID. You okay, know? yeah. Then I, I opened up a chess club. Yeah, I opened up a chess club. Then uh, when I actually I, I, I was part of the of the of the members of the province, when I was uh, when I, I discovered that there are two presidents. You know, there's Joe Mahomuli this side, there's Henry Tutoy this side. Mm-hmm. And I asked, how did this happen, guys? You know, <laughs> because I don't know what happened from yeah. my side. Mm. You know, because I was new, I was still excited, you know, but now there's two presidents. Mm. How did this happen? <laughs> People could not answer me most of them, you know? Yeah. <laughs> no. I saw that people now, they want to take sides, and I don't like taking sides. That's, that is me, you know. I don't like taking sides. I always want to listen. What happened? Yeah. Hey, the people from this side, so they, they talk, they talk, no, Hendrik did this and that and this and that. When you listen to the guys from Hendrik, so did this and that and this and that, and then they say, no, guys, stop. What the, how did this happen? Let's go back. <laughs> because at the end of the day, I understand. Whenever there's gonna be people, there's gonna be people that are going to be elected. They're supposed to be, uh, maybe provinces, especially when it's national. What's going on? You know. Mm, yeah. So, uh, 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 because of I was having a lot of questions, <laughs> you know. 
Yes. Most people, most people were uncomfortable with my question because I was asking a lot, and actually, I remained neutral because I have to be neutral because there's two executive board now, mm. and they are in court. And I ask myself, guys, how did you get to court? <laughs> <laughs> Is this person that it can go to court? This thing? Yeah. No, man. No, no, no. Sport in court. <laughs> you know, that was shocking. That was that was shocking. But you know what? Sport in court. But you know that what? I, I, what I'm, I'm thinking. You. Sorry, sorry, just to interrupt there. It's just that I know I'm thinking that neutrality, to be neutral or to be objective in some situations. It's only possible, like, if you're coming from a situation, uh, or let me say from a position like you, like yourself, where you were unaware of, uh, for some people, my point is that for some people, it's not possible to be, uh, I think neutral is the word, right? Like, where you try to not take sides, uh, especially because they were in the thing, in the event, in the situations, and they were aware of certain things. Uh, whether it's the people that are on Hendrick's side, so they have may they may have experienced mm. is the situation. They may have experienced events from a different perspective, and from the perspective that they are in, it looks like there was some real serious wrongs. And from the version that they've received from a person that they've trusted, then it's it's obvious to them that mm. there were wrongs that were done. By others it's not a matter of taking sides it's a matter of being logical again you go to people who are experiencing uh events from the perspective of the joma homeless side as well so the way they see it and the way they hear the events of the of the whole of the whole situation for them as they're hearing it from the person that they trust the most you see what i mean so again <laughs> it comes with that of someone that they've been working with for a very long time and to have tr- gained trust on. So when they hear them, them telling that this person has done wrong by doing one, two, three, they trust that they believe it without questioning. So that is why you can always have this divide and it would be very impossible to change people from either side or almost very difficult. But yeah, no, I just wanted to get to that point. Like, yeah, I understand that you, for someone who is, who hasn't been involved for a while. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> all right. But yes. Um, yeah. yeah. yeah from my side, what, 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 is that there was black and white, you know? Yeah. Every side is white, Joe's side is black. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and now, uh, even when I look at their website, it's black this side, it's white this side. Maybe it's a, it's a tribal thing, you know? Mm. Uh, uh, I'm just, I'm just taking, I'm just observing from my side. But guys, don't, don't these guys think we need to exist? This is South Africa most. It's, uh, we are a, a rainbow nation. Mm. Why can't we just be in one place, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I understand the, the, the history of South Africa has got white people who are oppressing black people, mm. you know? Yes, definitely. And mostly, mostly of them, when I, were, when I was working, most of the white people then, they were, they were not accepting that black people can lead, you know, yeah. from my experience now, you mm, know? Mm. And then I had to observe this closer, and I was asking myself, how can this, how can they on that side be white people only, then this side be black people? Yeah. Hey, something is wrong here. And when I get the narrative, people say, no, this is not about race. Actually, it's going to be, it's going to prolong if you say it's about race. <laughs> and actually, the problem is with me, I don't care whether it's blacks only or whites only. To me, both sides are wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Mm, mm. They need to learn to work together. They need to learn to listen you know, to it. There's no need for black people to say, oh, we are black, we must work alone. Mm. You know, it's wrong. There's no need for black or for white people as well to say, no, we are white, we must work alone. Also, it's wrong. You know? Yeah, yeah. We need to actually transform. Mm. To actually to stop looking at each other due to races. Even the constitution, that's when I started to read the, the Chester constitution. Because I had to go and read, you know, what's going on. It does not allow this thing of discrimination against races, you know. But then now, you see, you're taking me into a very interesting uh, discussion now. See, you are now... Um, um, uh, we didn't even get to that part as we were obviously rolling in. You are now uh, the president of the Eastern Cape, right? Is it Eastern Cape? It's yes, yes. And uh, <laughs> the Eastern Cape is one of the the Eastern Cape. 
No, but listen to this. Listen to this. Listen, listen to, the, to, the, to, to the point that I'm trying to make. Um, I just want to know if you are aware of where you are right now, like in this whole discussion. Obviously, you've made the split that there is the black and the white side. But then now, there is also something to understand that there is also the, um, uh, let's say, the National Council, which is obviously the Council of the Provinces, the Council of Provinces in the, uh, the, of Chess South Africa, right? Which is all the prov the nine provinces? Is it is it all nine provinces? It is all nine provinces, right? In the current country, yeah. yes. And then there is the Henrik uh, Dutoit's um, expo that the national council does not want in, or we, as we would like to say, the entire chess community of South Africa does not want them in. <laughs> you see what I mean? But then now. Again, listen, look at this. Look at this. Look, are you, are you listening to this point? Yes. So there's this point now again where it seems that the split because the Joe, Mah the Joe Mahomla side did not win uh, the court judgment, uh, but the Henrik Tudoy side won the court, the court judgment and took over the running of the Chess South Africa, which the National Council does not want. In. So now it, is, it seems like the National Council is fighting against uh, Hendrik Tudoit as if they are fighting yeah. Joe Mahomla's battle, which makes it appear as if they're obviously not fighting Joe Mahomla's battle. But I'm just saying if the split is between Hendrik and Joe, and now it is the National Council that is fighting against, uh, you see what I mean? So, and you know, if you are aware of the history... <laughs> That it may seem, or uh, that from the records, I think even the impression that I'm getting, which is which I may not be correct, that it may seem that Joe Mahomula had more of an involvement in uh, in putting together this uh, national council. Would you argue? Or would you deny that if I said that? Eh? No, no. Joe Mahomula has got nothing to do with the provinces. No, no, no. With the organizing of it. With the organizing of the of the national council, of the council, as one of its leaders, it's one of obviously its guiding leaders. Because you know what I'm where, where I'm where I'm where I'm coming from with this. Okay, but then I'm gonna end up t t telling my own side. I hope I, I hope I get you correctly. I don't know. I hope I get you correctly, ne? Yeah. I don't know if I get you correctly because there's, there's this network uh, 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 problems, ne? Mm. But one thing I know, ne? With 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 the end of tutorial, he won the court case most in February, right? Yeah. Twenty twenty two, Yes. And uh, after he won the court case, ne? What I thought, as from my side, because I was neutral still, ne? Mm -hmm. I thought he was going to call a meeting, whereby all the people who are involved in chess can mm -hmm. be one rule under one roof, and then address them accordingly, because he's the president, most he's won the case. Mm -hmm. And address them and try to and try to bring a new chess, uh, 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 what you call, new chess culture, which is unity. Yes, know? yes, yes. Himself as a president, yeah. because he has won the elections via. Actually, he has won the court case. I don't know what happened between Houting and Playcom, and I don't know how how the elections were won on the other side. But now you won the court case, ne? Yes. Why don't you bring people together? You know, that's the question now. But we we, we 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 requested him to actually come come on board and and make sure that he brings everyone together. Be it would was Joe's faction or his faction, make sure that everyone is under one. Of course, he's the president now. You know? he's, he's at the and helm, the leader. From there, mm. we were go and actually even the provinces where we really were willing to work with Hendrik. Mm. Then yes. But the weakness, the weakness from Hendrik was to threaten the provinces, even though they want to work with him. How do you mean by it, to threaten the provinces? You know, they no, actually, he actually he wrote, he wrote a letter, which was talking about courts and all that stuff. Uh, uh, actually, the letter is still there. He, he actually spoke negatively to the provinces, and. It was quite a shock, you know, mm. because what we wanted was renewal, you know. We wanted to work with him yes. uh, in a renewed space of, of, of chess South Africa, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. because we were never part of any section at, 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 uh, from, from first, from, from, from the start. So 
when he started uh, uh, playing uh, these these uh, court court tricks, <laughs> then uh, we 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 just lost confidence immediately because we thought after maybe the maybe we we don't know who was wrong or right, you know. Mm. Because I never knew them, both of them, you know. Yes. So when he started threatening and showed uh, no courtesy to us, as if we know what was going on, <laughs> then I, I didn't understand him. And he continued. And he continued, you know. And but do you, but do you and at least now, well, after, but after I've said that, do you at least now try to at least see that perspective, as wrong as it may be, that it might be the same perspective that he had, that... This council of provinces are Joe's people, and that's why he was going to continue to, to, to treat them like the losers, like the people that lost to him in the court battle and just threaten them and force them to bow yeah. to him, like as your new master. Hmm? Yeah, possibly it might have been the, pro the problem that triggered that even before, you know, hmm. because now he was just proving to ourselves that. He's not doing. He's not. A, he's not actually fit to become our leader mm. because you cannot be given the authority. Try to threaten people, you know. Mm. Try to be bossy, you know. Be arrogant. So the, all these things you see now. Hey, this guy. Who does it take us for? You know. It's like now we are employees, and these are our bosses, you know. So for me, it didn't, it didn't make sense. It, I didn't understand, you know. Mm. And that's when I said, no, man. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Something is wrong here. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so now you started to see that maybe there was a side that was. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, we were Yes. Even Joe, I was not actually saying. Because when I look at the records, Joe mm. was part of the executive even before. Yeah. I discovered that Joe and, and Andrew were working together once. Yeah. If what happened, I don't know. So these people actually have got a history together. Possibly the fight between them might have triggered the the, the sections. I don't know, but there was so the, 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 these people have a history of working together before, you know. Yeah. Before we were even introduced the provinces, so that's why it's not easy to determine something that you you were never part of. Of what really transpired for people to actually have a have this big fight because yeah, I've never seen a fight whereby there's court there's too much money spent on court other than spending on development. You know, mm. if you can take that money that they, they they are being mentioned there, and then you you go to out to out the provinces trying to make sure chess is played. But does that you make you that does that make you think that uh, the, uh, uh, does that make you think that maybe there's money in chess we just haven't been seeing it right because I know there's that perspective that most of us have that there is no money in chess so chess does not have money but now when you're looking at this like people being willing to spend so much money on court cases does it kind of give you the impression or the idea that possibly maybe there is money in chess it's, or maybe is it only national level I or. Don't no, I always think the money that is being used is the money to develop chess, you know, that is used for court. But I don't know. But I don't know. But at the end of the day, why is these people focusing on the wrong direction? You know. <laughs> no, I but listen, you, you say the money. Okay. The How much money are we talking now? First off. Eh? How much money are we talking? How much money do you, uh, uh, has been spent on court cases? No, it's millions, man. Actually, they, they, those people, it's, it's hundreds of thousands, you know. It's quite a lot of money. Even there's, there's, a, there's, there's four nice contracts there. There's a lot of things, man, that are involved there. Yeah. And if, if, you, if, you check, if you would check from when they speak about the four nice contract, when it started, you would find that there's, there's been millions that have been made, you know. Mm. And you don't know where this money goes, the money is go, you know. You don't even see the, the development, there's no transparency, there's no no reports, you know. Mm. But then you see... No, there's, there's millions. No, people, these people are spending millions, man. Those are... Things. All right, now I understand. Those are the problems that we're faced, we were faced with, that we're trying to deal with in chess. Because obviously, I mean, that's my view of it is if people are willing to spend millions on fighting court battles, then there must be millions to be made 
on chess in chess events whether or not not just from development i don't think i'm, I'm not sure if we can say that it's just development money or money that could be used for development i think it's money that is it's revenue that comes in and obviously it needs to be channeled and one of the main the, the main way that they need to channel it is through development but then there's revenue there's money that can be brought in through chess yes so now that's the problem that we're facing mm. But I'm trying to move for, move forward now to this uh, to now that there's there's been the suspension from Sascock after Hendrik obviously had decided to suspend all the provinces. But then there's also been some action from Fide. Can you take us through that? I know you've uh, had um, as one of the presidents in the um, in the in the what do, what do they call this in the council the national council. Yes, because again, the players need an update as, as to know where we are now. Is there hope for the future? Do you see any possibility of matters being resolved by the end of this year? Like, <laughs> yeah, for now, uh, actually, the approach of Strasbourg has been positive. Mm. Uh, uh, when we were in that meeting, Strasbourg was so accommodating to. We wanted to resolve chess moving forward. For there were Chesa Echo, there were provinces, there were sports confederations, there was there was FIDE, mm -hmm. delegate, and FIDE International. Sorry, in uh, uh, continental advisor, you know. Yes. And actually, the 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 the, the, the board of Southcock clarified the meeting that they want to check to move chess forward, and they were so objective, they were so neutral, you know. Mm. Uh, they clarified that they want to to actually make sure chess uh, operates well. There's no more uh, uh, fights between people in chess. But the problem is now uh, the chess ex brought uh, legal representatives today. Wait. Which didn't make sense. But now, how does not, how, how does it not make sense? Can I understand? Uh, let me just see. Who were you told to come with? Who did you come with as the uh, as president of Eastern Cape? Did the letter say who you should bring or who you should not bring? I just want to be clear. There was an invitation letter, right? No, actually, no. No, it was actually just, 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 uh, just, it, it was provinces. Yeah. It was the stakeholders, ne? Yes. That were, 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 were invited there. Mm. Yes. It, it was the chairperson and the, and the secretary and then any players home if possible. But the problem is money, you know. We couldn't mm. bring everyone. One into the it was uh, the president the and the deputy there from the Eastern Cape. From the Eastern Cape, but then now was uh, okay. you saying chess chess ex the chess uh, chess expo the chess ex expo? You said they brought in legal representatives when they were the 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 the, the letter. No, it was, no, it was, uh, no man, they brought. They brought legal in the, uh, attorneys there, you know. Yeah. And actually, they actually ne we, we, ne we were never told to bring legal representations there. <laughs> okay. It was only for chess people to speak chess, not law, not not courts, no, no courts, no laws, but people who are involved in chess. So only stakeholders in chess. in chess. Yes. You know. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Uh, you know, because the other ones are, 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 are busy with legal matters, you know. Mm. Meaning we can only discuss only chess things because we are the ones who are involved in chess. And also from my perspective was that if the leadership of chess cannot speak on, on itself, how do you lead people that you cannot speak to, you know? <laughs> Yourself. You yeah. want someone else to represent you to speak to them. Mm, mm. To me, it does not make sense. You, I'm a leader. I need someone else to speak on my behalf. Yet I was the one who was elected. Is that possible? Is, 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 does it make sense? You know? Mm. <laughs> say I'm elected. And then I'll, I'll just try and find lawyers to talk on my behalf. Whenever you can't express that. your own... You know? So who... It means there's no... Who was representing the executive yeah. the executive board of who was exec, uh, representing the executive board of Chess South Africa? Come again, they said it was Judy Mariston Camp and Temba Nene. So only two members from and the, then the two guys were who were, were there. Uh, uh, the other one was not sure who actually he never disclosed why he was there, you know, and then <laughs> he was asked out as well. Yes. But they were all going with uh, with uh, Chester Expo. You know? Mm. All right. 
But then what was discussed there? What was the resolution? What's the way forward? What can players expect? What do we need to know as chess players? Yeah, as... uh, the, the resolution, actually, actually yeah, we've, we, we've, we've distributed the resolutions from uh, FASCOC. Ne? Yes. If you remember the, the documents that we sent, we sent them via regions as well. Actually, there's quite a lot there, you know. Mm. Yeah, we've, we've distributed the, the resolutions. Even SASCOC also did share the same resol- the similar resolutions with those ones. So we are happy that we shared them to to, to everyone, you know, through the emails and but WhatsApp groups and everything. You can't you know? say it's not so from it's not to everyone. You know what I'm what I'm thinking. Obviously, there is this is something that needs to be discussed within Pumalanga probably because I know that. I've only found it. I've only the, the only place where I've seen those resolutions were in the national consultative group that has recently been deleted, and the Africa Chess News group that I'm still a part of. Mm. Only nothing on the email accounts of the clubs, because obviously we've got a, um, I've uh, got chess clubs, we've got players, we've got other groups as well as as well as provincial chess groups. Because I don't remember seeing it on the provincial chess groups. No. Yes. So when you say everyone knows, you see, that's but that's what, that's what no. I'm okay. So, but then now I'm giving no. you, this is but a chance for you. So well, now, what, I'm, what I'm saying is now this is a chance yeah. at least that we hear it from say. someone who is inside. Hmm. Yeah. No. Yeah, what, what, what I can say, Eddie, we try to share with the people that we can be able to share with. Yeah. That's what I can say. Mm. Uh, there's one thing that uh, always, I always ask people in chess. Is, is always, we always advise they have clubs, regions, ne? Yes. and then the province as we, as we are the province. Because what we, we, what we believe is that once we work as a collective, mm. you know, once we always work as a collective, it's easy to get information all at once, you know. Yeah. Because if we are individuals, we don't get information as we're supposed to be getting it. Because if we're a collective, one person gets it for on, on our behalf, you know. That's then true. that person shares it, and mm. then that that person, the, the person whom, whom the message is shared to, they actually share to one of the most the, the, the other 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 group as well. So that's why this thing of structural uh, 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 of, of actually working in structures has this because it's easy to actually know who must account. Yeah, if things do not go accordingly. That's... But if ever it's always individuals, ne? Mm-hmm. if it's individuals, everyone is actually in charge. Who are you going to actually make account? Uh, who, who, who are you going to actually hold accountable if things, if the messages know? don't reach certain yes, people? Who, who are you going to hold accountable? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. That's, that's why it's always important to have an structure so that there can be someone who can be held accountable. Who can actually have to answer? You know, even me in the Eastern Cape, I have to answer for the whole province. But the regions must actually uh, uh, talk to me, you know. Mm. I, have, I have to account to the regions, you know. And the regions have to account to the clubs. Mm, mm, mm. Because if the regions say they didn't get, they, they, they didn't get anything, then we, 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 we're going to have to refer to the regions. But that's why, the but that's why they, Luzugo, they didn't, they didn't listen, listen, anything. listen, Luzugo, that, that is why we are now speaking on the issue uh, of Sascock's involvement in chess and uh, FIDE possibly getting involved as well because we're trying to resolve that because at the current state our development is very low like our provinces are not organized our regions some of them have no committees our regions not even interim that can be accountable for anything so the clubs they're there they obviously exist in just silos there, club there, club there, but uh, nothing formal, nothing um, unifying in every way. So that is why we are counting on the resolution on on the matters that we've, we're facing. We're counting on um, National Council working with Sascock and FIDE, yes, resolving the issue of CHESA. And then that resolution, that resolving of the matters, trickling down now to the provinces, the um, uh, regions, and then the clubs. Obviously, everybody getting organized. But then that's why I'm asking now, from that meeting, did anything uh, come out that could give us hope? Or do we need to take up arms again as players, like we were trying? to speak to everybody and try and organize on our own and reject everybody that tries to call themselves our leader because we know that we haven't had elections in some of our yeah. provinces. But then is there something that gives us hope to say, wait yeah. for another month, we, we are solving this issue? Or is it, go do your own things, people? Because we are, we are able to. 
No. No, actually, there, 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 there was, uh, yeah, no advice to actually uh, work with our sports confederations. Right? Yes. Provinces, all provinces were advised to work with their sports confederations, and mm. the sports confederations were asked to work with the church provincial leadership so that they could, they could be a good order in all provinces, you know. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, most of the members who are actually working in these provincial structures are volunteering. Ne? Yeah. And actually we mentioned that in that meeting because I, I remember when one of the free state guys actually was mentioning this, I said, hey, this guy is telling the truth in that meeting as well. Yeah. You know, some, some provinces, it's not easy to go from one region to another region. It takes uh, more than 200 k's or more. You yeah, know? that's true. You have to make sure that you get to that area. Mm. That's why we need we need people who are volunteering themselves to come on board and say no. We would like to serve, mm. you know. Mm. Well, you can... Rather than of the day, if ever there's not even one person who's willing to serve others, how is the information going to go down there? You know. Yeah, yeah. So, so we have to move around as member. As, as actually, you see, as, as I'm saying, I'm the I'm the I'm the interim president of the of the province. I have to go to one of these uh, of the regions and try to find people if there's, if there's a if it's possible, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of which it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a very difficult exercise because those regions are far, are very, very far. You know, you have to spend money. Yeah, but now, now that's not the only way now, is it? Because there's also um, online communication. There's also the Zoom meetings and no, teams. I, mm. No, I understand. Listen, listen, Freddy, ne? Yeah. There's online communications, but it's always the matter of, of the, the, you, you, you always try. Some of some people don't have they don't have networks where they stay. Okay. You know? Yeah. But luckily enough, you take your phone and you phone them and you advise them via the phone up until you get a solution that is viable for that certain area. Mm. You know. Yes. Because of the day, you negotiate with the people of that certain area and ask them. What is needed in this side? Because of the day, I can tell, even with the good standing status that people are looking for, yeah. they will not actually make a survey to check how are these provinces uh, 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 demarcated or, or how are they actually... Structured. How are they... Uh, how, 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 how are they... Situ- uh, say, how, how, how is their setting? Divided you know? in the way, yeah. The first thing... You, are you getting me? The I do. The setting of the province must be known. Yeah. Before saying we are expecting from this province, because people now have got a lot of expect, expectations without knowing what is happening in areas. Mm. You know? I see, yes. It's a, and it's a problem. It's a big problem. You cannot, you cannot have expectations as a leader. You must go and check what is going on there. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And yeah. actually call people there. Call them. Have yeah. a meeting with them. Ask for ask for 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 their needs and what they what have they done to make things better in their own area? Because tomorrow you're not gonna be there. They will have to be left alone there. I know? see. I see. Because they're coming. You're coming from far. They are staying far. The most important thing is leaders who are motivational in in, in action more than expect expectations. Because mm. now you want these people to act. Yet you know how much it costs, even you yourself, to actually make sure things are happening. Some people are not are not willing to spend as much as you are. You know, <laughs> yeah, so they yeah. feel that there's no money here. They will leave this thing. You see? I see it. I see it. Um, yes, that's obviously that's one of the cha- that's one of the challenges. Are expecting money in, in okay, the provinces. Maybe, maybe chance pays. You know. Yeah. Come again. I'm saying I get that. That's that, that's some of the problems in the um, the current challenges that you're facing in the provinces. So that's one one problem. But then now, as now a member of national council, what do you think is the biggest challenge out uh, that nationally, like for everyone, for this issue to finally get resolved? What do you think is the biggest challenge that the, um, maybe you are facing as council, or that we can say chess players are facing? as a hurdle or the last hurdle that needs to be um, overcome before we can say safely say that uh, chess is back in uh, democratic hands or it's, it's normal again. Like, because we're not in obviously yeah, normal. The, 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 no, the, the, the biggest problem that we are facing in chess, mm. firstly, is people focus a lot on their indefenses mm. than actually focusing on development, you know? Mm. 
people focus a lot on their own defenses. Secondly, too much fees for people who are playing chess. People, they want to charge a lot of people. Yeah. They want to charge people who are playing chess, you know, mm. too much. They want, people are looking for business when it comes to chess. <laughs> if you see people now trying to make sure that chess is, move, is moving in a certain place, Man, they think money first, you know. Yeah, they don't think development. Mm. How am I going to get money here, you know? Yeah. Of which is, it's, a, it's a wrong thinking, you know. That's why it's, it's not easy for South Africa to develop uh, mm. uh, 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 strong players, like what you call the, the grand masters. You don't even have grand masters in South Africa. We have one. South Africa has been in existence from when? Even before we were born. Even before I was born. <laughs> South Africa has existed. But we only have one grandmaster who's Kenny Solomon, who's 2,318, 2,400, you know? Yeah. 2,200, 2,400, you know? There's mm. no 2,500 rating. I was not even yet born when, they, when most, of, most of these guys were there, you mm. know? Because people are not focusing on developing the quality of the game over the board. They want business. They want to make money. They want to earn for a living. But they, do you think... You know, do you not think? Sure but now, and also, and also, trying to be very, trying to be very understanding. Do you not think that the reason why people charge money for people to play chess is because chess is not well funded, whether by national government, by Lotto, by any other uh, sponsors and organization? Don't you think that with proper sponsorship and funding, then it would be easier for people to compete for better incentives? while obviously paying less to register. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is, I know that is the problem because we're not marketing our own sport, you know. Yes. But then now the challenges to marketing. What are the challenges to marketing? It's everywhere. It's everywhere. But what are the challenges for marketing? Now we're speaking yeah. chess now. Let's, let's speak chess. The, 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 what are the challenges when it comes to? Marketing <laughs> chess. No, the project. From from our side, we, we decided to actually I'm, I'm gonna take it I'm gonna take it from my region. You yes, know? yes. This region is very new from 2021. Mm. Yeah? We decided to actually write to papers to the radio stations whenever we're gonna we have a game. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a, 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 a game. Make sure that uh, we are being known uh, through through the media. You know. Yeah. Because it's something which is not there. You know. <laughs> that is marketing. Make yes. sure that within the area that we stay, people know chess, you know? Yeah. The Department of Sports knows chess, the municipality knows chess. That is part of marketing, you know? But actually, because of the, 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 the region is still growing, mm. you know? People will get, to, will get to know chess because this, this face affects Eddie. Yeah. People who do not play chess, people who do not play chess, who do not, who do not know chess, we don't find it easy to find chess. Yeah. Because they don't know chess. That's you know? the truth, yes. The only people who can find chess is the people who can play chess. That's... Who know what chess is all about. And they are they. You but we're wondering... We invest much mm. more time. Yeah. But now, do you not believe you know? that we've got chess players who've got enough money to find? Chess players who... who, who Come again? Don't, do you not think that we've got enough chess players who are obviously well um i don't know to do well to do anyway understand the game and can be able to find don't you think there is enough of those not really mm. i i am I'm, I'm not so i'm not so afraid i'm not exposed to them yeah, you know, I'm not exposed to. No, because I'm, I'm just, I'm just looking. Because, my, po my, my question, my questions are based on the fact that, all right, I understand that the marketing part. I've tried the marketing part. Um, of the, all the radio, the local radios in my area in Mombela, in um, I, I, I could even say, and then, and yes, chess, they've chess promoted each chess. They've promoted chess South Africa, or obviously, or even chess and wine. <laughs> but they have, like, whenever I had the, there was this one league that I had running last year, the Kumbaya Chess League. So every week when we had games, it will come out in the in the newspapers. It will come out in the radio, in the sports um, the sports shows. They will speak about it in the online radios and everywhere. But the problem is that I don't know whether people don't know or don't care. Like, like they don't see themselves. Like they don't understand. They think when you're talking, speaking chess, you're speaking something foreign to them, like something far. 
some of them even maybe have seen mm. the game, but when they don't think of chess in that way. I don't know. Is it the lack of excitement? Because I heard that even Magnus Carlsen is deciding not to play, um, what is this, long games now? Classic chess and only plays rapid and blitz. And I've also resolved to now run tournaments, only rapid tournaments, or maybe even blitz later or just for that reason and try to make it exciting. I don't know. Do you consider that as well? That, that may be the issue. Because <laughs> we would think chess, think long and boring games. Mm. Mm. I hope I, ha- I hope I heard you. Uh, I'm having this network problem, but mm-hmm. one thing I could say, Fred, you know, uh, I, 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 do, I do listen to Chess and Wine. That's the most that's the most videos I listen to. Sorry to say, ne? Okay. But there's one thing I would say with Chess is that you 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 actually a journalist. I can tell. Ne? <laughs> <laughs> You're actually trying to market. You are trying to market the sport. Yes, of course. That's why even me, I, I, I'm responding to you mm. because you are a positive person who's trying to go out there and market the sport. You know. Mm. But I don't know other people's perspective on you when you're marketing the 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 the, 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 the sport. You know, because people they are negative, some are positive. It depends on how people will use your platform, you know. Yeah. That you are you are you are trying to build, you know. This is what you call streaming, ne? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so for me, so for me, so for me, Eddie, we would like those people. Actually, from my province, I would like to meet uh, most people who are interested in actually uh, 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 market actually marketing themselves and sponsor chess. Uh, we would like to meet them and talk to them because at the end of the day, if they come, we will we will negotiate a, a way forward so that chess can grow. Because for me, it's all about development, you know. Yeah, yeah. Those people that you actually meet, uh, our doors in the Eastern Cape are open uh, for 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 making sure that things are moving forward. But the problem is, I don't know them. You know them, mm. and actually, we I hope. We could find ways whereby we speak about the way forward, you know, of chess in South Africa, uh, and actually even market their own products. The people who are trying to sponsor, you know, that's true. Yes, chess yes. In, in 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 our provinces. Because at the end of the day, we we need to give value to the people who are supporting us at the same at the same time, you know, mm. because that's how we can always get get sponsors. Those who are marketing us. We market them as well, you know, mm. so that it, 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 it becomes a good trade, you know. Not that to, not that we will, we will have to take from them, take, 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 you know. Yes. But they must actually tell what is it that they would like to get when we when when they actually sponsor our chess, you know. We, we, it would be easy because it's, actually we are creating a relationship, you know. True, we need yeah. to create a relationship. I know because of our new around in this environment, most people. Will, we don't know each other, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's always, it's always, we always, you, you always hear about me from someone else, but we never spoke, you know. Then someone else develop an attitude because, like, okay, I, I heard about Eddie. Eddie is this person and that person and that person. But if I never spoke to Eddie, how can I know Eddie? You know. <laughs> yeah. It's always the case of. <laughs> it's always the case of Eddie. We need to actually grow a positive attitude towards our our sport. Because as I said to you, people focus mostly on their indifferences. On their differences more rather than their similarities. Fighting than, yes. on their personalities. Yeah. More than fighting over the board. <laughs> you, you get me? I do. So that is where the problem starts. The fight should be over the board. If I've got a grudge with you, AD, let's put a chess board <laughs> and then we fight. And let's have it, that, let's have it out. <laughs> if I've got a grudge with you, so even even the guys who are there who are trying to sponsor chess, they must know we are willing to market their product if they are willing to market our sport and promote chess battles. Yes, yeah. and promote obviously chess battles like people just like boxing. You see, like boxing is doing these days, where they got promoted via the celebrities fighting whenever they've got beef. They just go into the ring, and that sort of promoted boxing in a way. So now again, we could do it with yeah. chess. If any, 
if any two people are fighting, they've got issues. Like we watch them uh, uh, go in a cage, a chess cage. <laughs> yeah, that also could be very interesting. But then again, it's about how we position it, uh, position this, how we promote it, and make yeah, it known. Okay, we, we, we must find, yeah, we must find. You know, Fred, we must find ways of marketing our sport. It's, it's up to us. That's why I'm, I would be willing to speak to those people. I don't mind speaking to them. You know, if you know people that want to speak about jazz and mm. actually want to want to invest in jazz, they, are, they must come. You mm. know, they must come. <laughs> Definitely. All right. Like way forward. What's okay? What like, we we skipped around this a whole lot a whole lot of times. What's next? Like, is there anything big planned? Say for chess in um, east in the Eastern Cape. Any big things that you're doing in the next one two months? Yeah, in the Eastern Cape, we are also trying to support schools as well. Ne? Mm-hmm. So can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, in the Eastern Cape, we are trying to, actually, we are trying to create local leagues. Actually, each, each region must have its own league. Mm. Uh, schools must play, we must support schools, which is the Department of Education program, which is Winter Games, and actually have more, ex- uh, have more what you call, have more structures on the ground for schools to grow, you know? Yes. Even the tertiary, tertiary institutions. Tertiary institutions must actually come on board as well because at the end of the day, there are people who have left schools there who must actually come and play. And you know, what I admire the most is that my ex co members who are, who are actually currently there, mm. they are doing much more great work in the Eastern Cape, you know? Mm. We, are, we are actually working hand in hand beside. Even though we are interim committee, you are in- we've, actually we've made even the Eastern Cape Championships, and it's gonna continue also in Sarah Batman uh, before the end of the year. So, what one thing I know is that I know I'm working with people who are positive, this side, women not looking at indifferences. Mm. But why did you do this? Why did you actually? We actually make it other account on. On, 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 on good things, you know. Uh, we motivate each other. We must actually, we want just to, to grow. So, so from, from our side in the Eastern Cape, I'm, I'm hopeful things will change for the better because I see growth coming. I yes. see growth coming. All the know? best with that. All the best with that. Uh, but That's now, let me, so, just, let me just add, ask one thing. You said interim. How long have you been in interim uh, committee yes? with... How long have you been in interim committee? Because now again, you can maybe help me understand the role of the interim. How long have you been, have you been the interim committee? No, and no, what's no the... the interim committee. You know, the, the committee has, listen, the committee has been formed by regions. Okay. It was the provincial, actual regions are forming provincial council. Net. The yes. provincial council made the committee itself. Yes. Because in, in, in the committee, all eight regions are featured. So why then are you saying it's interim? Why then are you saying it's interim? Come again. Why then are you saying it's interim if it was e- elected by the regions? Was it not elected? Was it appointed no, or elected? No, no, no actually, it, no, we were, it, it, was, it was the provincial council uh, appointing. Oh. Because the elections were happening through the elective AGM processes. Right? Yes. So when are they supposed to be happening? When are the elective, when is the elective AGM meant to be no, happening? We, we actually, we are, we are, we are assisting. We are assisting regions to be in good order, in order, so that you can be able to do what you call the, the, the fully fledged structure. So you're saying your regions are not in good standing now, the regions that are appointed this interim committee, no, or no, maybe no, some no, of them we, are? We, no, we, we, we want, no, no, we want 50 plus one region to do that. But do you not we have want, that now? We don't want this thing of, of having one region. Listen, listen mm. we don't want this thing of region, of, 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 of one region electing its own provincial structure. One region doing so because... But then now currently, have, I know, I just, I'm just trying to understand that currently, how is, good, the, how is this good, good, good standing? How is the good standing in your province now? Like in the regions? The, 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 prov- okay. the, the, the regions that appointed the current interim, were they or were they not in good standing? Were some of them in good standing and some of them not in good standing? What... <laughs> In... Yeah, some of the some of them were in good things, some of them were not. So were they we the... actually, you know, you know, you know, you know, Eddie. Let's 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 face the facts, ne? Yes. In 
It's an every, 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 every territory or every area. Mm. You need to have one person who can actually lead the whole process. That's true. Because before the, the good standing part, there should be a criteria to be followed. You yes. Know? yes. Because they never say people are not in good standing yet. There's no criteria that has been actually formed. Definitely, yes. You know? but then... that, criteria, that criteria should be, should be, should listen, that criteria should be formed. You, know, you cannot form a criteria alone and say no. No, but then the the shouldn't the criteria already exist? Guide. Shouldn't the criteria already exist in the um in the constitution? Because constitutions, I think even our club constitution states that mem- a member in good standing needs to be a member who is uh, registered, paid up, or uh, attends a number of tournaments um, or something like that. But then now each constitution, even from club constitution to regional constitution, it must have a criteria of, of good standing. Do they? Does it not? Does your provinces? Yes. Can I ask you something, Freddy? Yes. Eddie. Eddie. Can Eddie. Can Eddie. Can Eddie. Eddie. <laughs> Hello. It's Eddie. You keep saying Freddy. It's Eddie. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm saying Eddie. Yes. Saying Eddie. Yes. No, Eddie. One, one thing. One thing you must understand, mm, ne? Yes. Uh, the regions we are, we are we've grown we've grown the regions from the ground because there were no regions before. Actually, the only regions which existed in Eastern Cape were only two. Yes. It was only NMB and uh, what you call BCM because they used all the demarcations, which is border in EP. Like in Gauteng, they say Transvaal, you know, mm-hmm. and then in case then they say it's Natal, you know. Yeah. You you get me? So yes, yes. Those were the regions which were which were in existence. Mm. They used, they were using the old demarcation. Then we had to discuss and, and actually integrate to the new demarcation, okay. which is uh, which is forming the district municipalities and what you call the local municipalities. So we are forming actually we are forming that up because if we need, if there was a, if there was an executive uh, executive what you call executive committee that was there before maybe that you knew. You would ask them if they know other regions that are existing in the province. Yes. They would tell you no. Because they were using that same old demarcation, demarcation landscape, you know? Yes. Which was used before 1994, mm. you know? Which is why if you check SHACC itself, it is mostly formed by those old demarcations which were which existed before 94. Mm. You know? Because if you, if you can check most of the new... Uh, 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 district municipalities, they do not participate there because it's mostly the, 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 the municipalities which were never involved in church before. No, but let's go back to yours. Yes, you're saying that these ones are formed, but in your formation of them, do they not adopt a constitution after being formed? Is there no constitution that is um, some form of a template or something similar to the constitution that exists in the other two um, regions that were already in existence? No, listen, these two regions, I will tell you this, these mm. two regions, actually, uh, we, we, we discovered that, okay, they were using those, the, 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 the latest constitutions, which is BCM yes. and NMB, which is the EP and Buffalo City. And yes. the other regions also, they had constitutions as well, ne? Yes. but now you wouldn't find who's actually working in, in, in these regions. Yeah. You know, even though there, there is there is constitutions, but there's no one working in those regions. Now we have to discover who is working in the region so that we can be able. That is why in, that is why it's still interim because it has not it has not been done in a constitutional way. We are here developing these regions first so that can, these things can be done properly. You know, yeah. We cannot say we are a, 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 an elected a, what you executive committee. We are a working committee, an interim committee, you know, which yes. is actually trying to make sure things are run smoothly in the province. For how long, though? Up until all the regions reach that status. All right, but then you know that uh, according to is it according to the Chester Constitution but mostly, that. But mostly, uh, this, but that this year, I think, or oh, is it odd numbered year? It's supposed to be a, an election year. Are you? Looking into having elections this year, or you're hoping what go? Oh. No, you know, no, on, on the second, no, listen, on the second of October, mm. we called it. We called for an AGM on the second of October last year. Yes. yes. 
because we wanted people to actually have elections so that there could be an executive committee. But the quorum actually could not actually, did not capitalize. So we had to postpone. Who was not there? The was called in the Eastern Sea. Yeah, but how did the quorum not No, correct? the problem is... The problem? Come again? No, no, I'm just wondering how you could not correct when you only had two existing regions and the other ones that you are, are resuscitating yourselves or forming, no, in, no, in fact, yourselves. No, no, the, 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 that was before. No, what I'm saying is, ne, mm. it was, listen, in our region we've got eight. We've got eight regions ne, in our province. Ne? Yes. We were supposed to have five out of eight. If we've got five out of eight, then we can do the elections. Five regions out of eight. But did the eight so exist? That's my question. Regions. My question is, did the eight exist when you called the the meeting on 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 on, on, in, on two October last year, twenty twenty two? Did they? Yes, yes, yes. They exist. Did they exist before you got into office, or did they exist by your efforts as one of the um, interim? They exist. No, they exist. All eight of them exist. They, all of all eight of them exist. So all eight of them are part of the uh, the, the the regions that were there in, in in appointing and forming the what the current committee you saying the interim committee. No, it was it was it was it was six of them. It was six of them. Two of them we just discovered them. But then it now was six of them when the interim committee was formed. So then then before listen, <laughs> it was six of them when the interim committee was formed. Yes, right? yes. Two of the regions. Two of the regions were, not, were non-existing. Yes. But then now... Then we had to discover them, and okay. they existed. Exactly. Then we had to actually uh, uh, put them in the, inter in, the, in the committee as well, because it's a working committee. All regions must be, uh, must be part, you know? But you know what I'm wondering? Them, what I find... Exist. Maybe you can explain how that could happen. Because, like, how is it an AGM called by the executive... That is represented by all regions fail to correct because each region obviously would have a member representing them in the current committee that is calling the meeting. That means each member in the committee is encouraging the region that they come from to attend so that we can have the, the elections. So how did it happen that you failed to meet the quorum in that situation? Maybe you can explain where that... No, no. Not, not all of them attended. That's the problem. But why, so when all of them are re my point? My problem is why not all of them attended when all of them are represented. Did not all of them agree that you should have the uh, the AGM? No, it was no, all of them agreed. They got the messages, but they never attended. We wanted a fair process. We wanted all of them to be present. Why did they not attend? Are they pulling back? Are they unable? Money what? issues. No money, money, no money issues. No, money but we are always issues, going to have money issues. You know, so, finances. But then finances I, we, 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 we are always going to have financial issues. What is the other? What what what's the other way around that? Because we know. It, 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 no, listen, listen. Mm -hmm. It was it, it was going to be better if there were there was five out of eight. Then we were going to continue. But I understand that. But you see, my point is. If everybody was willing to come but failed because of money issues, how are you solving the money? What, what efforts are you making towards solving the money issues now? Because obviously, it's if the money issues were the only hurdle, were the only uh, stumbling block, how are you working towards... Okay, yes. okay listen, uh, uh, from our side, we are, we are working, we are, we are actually pushing to work closely with our sports confed ne? Yes. to actually assist our regions because at this point in time, we are writing letters to the Sports Conference Department of Sports to make sure that everyone has to be assisted whenever there's, there's something that is needed in the province. You know, I see. it's not a matter of it, that's why we call it development, ne? Mm -hmm. because we see people are struggling. You cannot actually go and run faster when people are struggling. You write letters, you try to get some assistance, you know, yes. so that everyone can actually get the same strength as you have from your side, you know. But at the end of the day, once you actually have that monopoly of saying, no, I'm getting everything I want, then I'm going to dictate whatever must go on. Tell me. Then it's not going to be fair for everyone. Do you think, so, do you think that the Sports it's Confederation... It's now, it, 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 listen, mm. I... listen, listen, Eddie, ne? Yes. luckily enough, the, the response from regions is positive. You must understand first. Yes. People are skeptical in getting involved in politics, 
that are so much full of cards. People are afraid of leaving, participate in our meetings, you know. But we have to actually convince them that we want to grow this province. And now people are trying to actually giving themselves a chance to actually get to... You must understand that people are volunteering. We're I understand that. Here. But then hence my question. I think my question is trying to guide towards that. Maybe if you... Do you think that having the um the provincial sports confederation the SASCOC of the of your province be part of calling that meeting mm. that electric agm don't you think that it will it will release it will call for I mean, maybe some more people will feel more comfortable no, at it. yes no it was no SASCOC was the sports confederation was invited they actually apologized uh, for not attending, because they they actually informed us that some people went to Limpopo uh, to, uh, throughout the province. Uh, they actually apologized. Also, they were invited. They were supposed to be part of that AGM as well. No, but so besides they, besides calling them to be a part of, I'm thinking well. it's an elective AGM. Besides, in, in, just apart from just inviting them to be a part of it, I mean, uh, isn't isn't uh, does it not give it more weight? when they chair the meeting or they come and be a part of the meeting, that even the invitations would have the logo of SASCOC in the province when you're sending out the invitation letters. I'm just wondering about that, or if it's something that's doable. As, 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 as I mentioned, Freddie, people are not yet aware, fully aware of these, uh, these, these nitty-gritties, you know, mm, yeah. that are happening, that this should happen, this, this should happen, this should happen. People are here just to play chess. They're interested in playing chess, most people. But you are, I though. But that's my, I'm, 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 sp- I'm asking you now that you are, because now you're at the top of it and you are aware of the nitty-gritties. And I'm just wa- wondering about your next strategy, because, I mean, obviously no, 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 you need... That's, an... that's, 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 listen, listen that's, that's why we are pushing for developing people, you know. When you, when, you, when you work with people and you find that they're not interested in administration that much, you must understand, Freddy. I'm a chess player myself. Yes. I, I found myself getting into administration without even wanting to be part of administration. I never wanted to be part of administration. But mm. I'm part of administration, not by choice, yeah. but by force, but because of I love the game, you know? So imagine other others as well who are like me, who are out there, you know? Mm. Who do not want to be part of administration, you know? Who I might, I might find myself having too much expectations. I understand there are people who are running for elections who, are, who want to who want to be in position of power. You know, yeah. There are people of that sort in the country. I I, I see them every day. They just want positions. But when you come when it comes to development, they are not there. You know, yeah. you find people they want to be president, they want to be secretaries, they want to be this and that and that and that. But when you go to the ground, they are not they are not even existing. <laughs> and it's a problem, you know. I do. It's a problem. Mm, mm. Because most people are running are running for positions. Even me myself in the province, they know I always tell them, listen here, yeah, I'm a chess player, I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a, 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 a play. I'm a president because you want me to be a president. Yeah. But I love playing chess and talking politics. <laughs> <laughs> you know, talking uh, like like I'm like I'm a boss to people. I'm not a boss, I'm not I'm here to play chess. Yeah. But yeah. now I see some of the players are being deprived because I'm not standing up, you know. Then I become part of the executive mem- of the executive committee because I want my kids, my club to benefit, the kids in my district to benefit, you know. And now, if if I keep quiet and say I'm a chess player only, that will not have, that will never happen. <laughs> you know. No, I, I see people now on the other side; they are fighting for positions. Of which we can even give them the positions, but the question is, will they keep up with doing the groundwork? Because the groundwork is important, more mm-hmm. than positions. So tell me now, if I may ask, who are the other? Who are the like? Um, how many? How many? How many more people are in your ex- current executive committee? The interim committee. In, no, we are eight. This we are, eight. We are eight. And um, can you name, are there any famous names in there, like as far as you know, like some people we know? Famous? Yeah. I don't know about famous, man. Come on, what do you mean famous names? Kulasa, <laughs> famous like Kulasan de Mafanya, the Kuls the MC, you know, he's one of the famous players from the Eastern Kulasan Gate. Kulasan, no, Kulasan, Kuls, 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 Kuls like to 
<laughs> no, I mean famous. I mean famous like that. There's also Freddie Odendal, isn't he? One of the um. Is it Yes, but then my question. You, you, are, you, are, you know you are known. I know oh, that. I'm just trying to ask. Hey, I'm to get to my question. Are, are they like are, when you you said you said famous like what? So I'm just trying to give examples of famous like people that we know like in mm. the, yes. So are there any I people? Don't know if, I don't. The problem is. The problem is I don't know if I don't know if you know our members. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Who are they then? Who are your members? I'm talking about myself. Even me. I'm usually. Listen, 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 Eddie. Yeah. I'm the president, but I know people don't know, don't even know me. Yeah, you know? but people need to know who their president yeah, is. So that's that's president. that's another I'm important sure thing. Surprised. Who's this guy? Eh? No, people need to know who their president is. So that's why I'm trying to get who, or who their leadership is. So it's always important, especially if you are in no, such a public me, administration. It's me. It's me. Listen, yeah, let, let me let me give let me give you the names of the people who are currently there. And it's me. Yes. Look all over Atlantic. Do you know those people? I know Luke Paul of yes. You see? That's what I'm saying. Oh, you know him? Yeah, I know Luke. Yeah. <laughs> do you know Tobili Zichaguda? No. You see, do you know Kot Daiman? Kot Daiman, no? Mm -mm. Yeah, so, no, they are coming from different regions. Mostly they are not known, you know? Oh. The reason, reason they are not known, uh, Eddie, is that, is, is, is that um, I listen, I pay chess in PC, I'm in East London, ne? Yes. I know in East London, people know Ashley, who was my teammate, ne? Yes. Because Ashley has been president of PCM. <laughs> yeah. And then most chess is also played in Nelson Mandela Bay. A&B. Which is where it, it's really the Odendal, to me, San Kosi, they're staying there, you know what I mean? Yes. That is Nelson Mandela Bay. Mm-hmm. Then all the other regions, you may not be sure because all of the, for all, all of us were falling under that one region, which was PCM. Even OR Tambo, that side, you know. Yeah. OR Tambo used to fall under and under Buffalo City, but now it's independent as a district. You know. Okay. It's one of the good standing district, which is in good standing. So what I'm saying is, it's, it's we are coming from different regions. You know, yeah. we, ne we never knew each other before, all of us. Let okay. me just tell you that fact. All right. No. We never knew each other. But we are in the same, we are in the same roof. We are under the same roof. We're getting to know each other as, as we are working. I understand. We also look forward to getting to know all the other leaders now that we know the main person at the top, which is you, Mr. Luzukon, Denise. Uh, I think we... <laughs> we the, before I before before I let you go, yes. Wait, how is it going with the with your preparations for? I remember last year you were um, one of the uh, you an arbiter as well, right? You are one of the of, you are you are are you an arbiter? Are you a qualified arbiter? Come again. No, I'm saying I remember last year in Cape Town when we were there for the national schools championships for oh. chess. You were one of the officials from, yes. yes, one of the technical officials from the Eastern Cape. So I was asking first whether, whether you're an arbiter. Yes. Yes. And number two, how, how, is the, how are the preparations going that side for this year's national... Um, for winter schools. For winter games, yes. For winter schools. No, actually, we are, we are preparing for the provincials this week. This weekend, we are playing. Okay, all right. This awesome. weekend, which is Friday. Yes. We're starting Friday. Oh, you're making it a two-day event. Yeah, we're going to meet there Friday. We're going to... Yeah, Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. This, awesome. This upcoming Friday. Awesome, which awesome. Is, yeah, we're going to play in the provincial... It's the provincial winter games. Yes. So we're going to choose those top seven from different regions. Yeah. But then now tell me... coming weekend. Will it be rated? Come again? Is your game are your games going to be rated? Is your provincial uh, championships going to be rated? Hopefully, hopefully, because there's been a lot of uh, you know more stuff going on this side, but we hope they will be rated. Surely they will be rated, yeah. Oh, because so what? Actually, uh, we must, uh, yeah, hopefully they will be rated, but we're gonna see. 
our 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 man of the match, our, our main man now is Musa Jijela. He's gonna be running the the, the 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 province, the provincials. But then now, actually, we 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 we. we Come again? No, no, no. I'm just checking now with the issue of rating events in your in your area. Like, what are the challenges when it comes to rating events in your in your province? No, there's, 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 no, there's, there's one thing that there's one thing that we, we we actually it's all about submitting the ratings, but some of them are rated, some of some of them are not. So it depends. I don't. I, it's not always the case that. Who do, you, our who do you submit but through? I'm going to find out from him. I even, I even, I even asked him. I'm going to ask him if what's going on is going to go on. Who do you submit through? Who do you submit your tournaments for rating through in, in your province or in your region? In our region? No, actually, Gunther is the person who's doing the rating. Gunther is national, yeah, but every region has a person that sends to Gunther. So who sends to Gunther from your province or from your region? Who sends to Gunther? No, no. Actually, the 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 arbiter of the day actually does that. Sent directly to Gunther. No, but Gunther always says that you need to upload through your your regional uh, um, system. Do you not have any such? Yes. You don't. No, actually, the 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 the, 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 the games must are actually reported before they actually uploaded before the game starts, so that they they are being known, so that. So for now, uh, the, 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 the chief arbiter who's going, who's going to actually, uh, he's, going, he's going to submit the, 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 the games to the to Gunther. Okay, no, but then now who <laughs> does the registering of the tournament before it happens in your commun- in your, in your um, province or in your region? Who does the, the, the registration of the tournament? Yeah, who has the login? No, man, it's the chief arbiter. No, not chief, as a chief arbiter, not necessarily. Doesn't necessarily have the because when you register in the what do, what do, what do you mean? I don't understand. The register there's a system for registering. Okay, so I think every region has one um regional um registrar that gets appointed that Gunther gives a code to for login and uh yes, for login and uh, password, the username and password. So they go into that. Yes, through regions. No, actually, that, that, is, that is the Buffalo City region. They will be registering the tournament. Yeah, but who is in that region registering? It's Musa. So Musa, Musa. Is, doing that, is doing that. Okay, all right. No, I just wanted to understand that. I just yeah, wanted to Musa understand. Is doing that. If... Oh, no, Musa is doing that in that region. Yes. So he's the registrar. All right. Okay, no, cool. I think we, we were. I'm try, I was just trying to count and see if we cover everything in that hour and a half. But um, it's quite a very long time, and I'm not. I'm sure we haven't covered everything, so we'll probably be having this discussion on this and other matters in the future. Because there's still a lot of more, de- lot more developments that still need to happen in your community, in your area, in the country that you're going to be aware of. That we might need your help clearing up, or at least um, having uh, the feel of the nation in terms of how things are happening in the, the in the chess community, in chess in South Africa. I. Uh, but um, yeah, I think unless there's anything else that you wish to get off your chest, especially like on the matter of um, what's his name? Um, <laughs> of I see that you're unhappy with the way the reverse delegate uh, is handling the the, 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 <laughs> the issue. No man, you know uh, actually, yeah, I'm not I'm not happy as yet because he has not shown neutrality throughout to, through the to, through the processes, you know. Mm. I hope he's, he's going to be neutral as we, as we move forward, you know. He's going to try and work with the provinces. Mm. Because at the end of the day, if he, if he works with the provinces and actually urge provinces to work with everyone in, the, in their own provinces, then I think that will be progressive. Yeah, you but know? that's the reverse delegate. He works with the provinces. Mm. Mm? The re- the, that, that's the, the reverse... No, I, I, I hope he works with the provinces. Yeah, but that's what I'm trying to get because I'm, I'm I'm probably gonna be, have an interview with someone else again uh, soon, speaking about the roles of the reverse delegate. Because I've also seen the division the, that there is obviously the task force that is charged with um, resolving the chess SA issue, and there's also the reverse delegate, which is the someone that is the connection of chess South Af- of chess, uh, the chess South African community 
to FIDE now that the executive board of Henry Kutoit is uh, suspended. I don't know if FIDE... Because if they are saying that there's a reverse delegate, that means FIDE suspended Henry. But they don't want to tell us that FIDE has suspended Henry. But why would they put a reverse delegate without having suspended? But do you have an, any understanding of what's happening in the, around, around that issue? Because my understanding is that the one time there was a the one time there was a reverse delegate, it was because there was an impasse in between Henry Kudoit and Joma Homule, and there was no one leader that the whole entire community could trust. And then when uh, Henry Kudoit won the court case, they removed the reverse the reverse delegate, or there was no reverse delegate anymore. And now we get a reverse delegate again. You know, you know, actually I've been asking for a meeting for, for, for the reverse delegate to meet with the province so that they can clarify their role, you know, as you're asking. Mm. You know, because at the end of the day, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't meet the, the province, then you clarify your role. Actually, you unpack it so that we have the same understanding. Then no one will know, you know. It will, mm. always, it will always be the case of uh, we are guessing, you know, yes. or oh, there's going to be in three months' time, there's going to be elections, but there's no there's no pro program with timelines, you know. We're just going to take it from their word that they want elections in three months, and then we're going to we're going to hear it from them thereafter. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, we just need a meeting with them so that we can be able to know what, what actually to ask questions as well to him. Uh, from he actually he must just answer us in in some questions that we might. That might rise up with this uh, commission. But at the end of the day, it's all about creating relationships, relations, yes. so that we work together, not against each other. Yeah. No, I understand. But I think I think the main issue now is finding out the role of the reverse delegate and why is he is here. Why we have him. We understand the role of the task team that is in, uh, trusted with uh, resolving the issue of chess South Africa. But why the reverse delegate? But anyway, I'm thinking that's something that we can solve between the two of us. That's something that we'll need us. Uh, and also, and also, you must, and, and also, there's, there's one thing that is all is not, is not there. Actually, is not clarified. Mm. Is that the reverse delegate is taking over the administration fully or not? You yes, know? yes. As much as you say he's actually taking over the, the country, mm. he's going to be actually acting as the president of the country. You know, those are the things that we want to know. If what is going to happen from now moving forward as we're working with the reverse delegate? You know? yes. so we know that on the other side there's a project team by Soscock. So uh, we are just waiting, awaiting for the for their meeting between the, uh, the reverse delegate and Soscock. Okay. Then we're going to take it from there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, anyway, this has been a very um, productive, very good video, I believe, but it's been very, very long. So I don't know if it's going to uh, <laughs> accomplish. Hey? <laughs> you, 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 you like interviews, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And I'm hoping to have a whole lot more interviews. I'm enjoying this. So I think it's best for the show instead of people hearing only my views, my perspective. So it's better that we have a uh, uh, other people's views and other leaders, especially in the chess community, come forward and share their own knowledge, their own experiences and their own guidance. And then... Um, yeah, we can move forward better in that way. <laughs> yeah, there, there's, there's one thing I would like to share with the consensus community. Let's work with each other. Let's actually try and find ways of working with each other. It doesn't matter how we, ne we never seen eye to eye before. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, let's try to actually do it for the future. Let's just try to do it for our, 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 our children, for ourselves. Let's just do it for the love of the game, you know. There's no need for actual, actually us being personal on each other. Even if we are being robust when we discuss, mm. it does not mean we must not we must be personal. Yeah. You know? Legacy. So we are, let's we are, do we are, we are we are chess players. Let's do it for the legacy of the game. But um yeah. Uh yes. Mr. Denise, we're yeah. gonna go on for a whole two hours if I don't try to stop this now. But thank you very much for your time. Yeah. It's uh and thank and I'm grateful. I'm thankful that through this load shedding. You know, I'm also under load shedding. Like, I'm in the dark right now. Like, I've got a torch over my head. And, <laughs> but I'm just trying to keep the light on while I do the interviews. And I'm glad that the network did not disappoint quite uh, drastically. And that your, oh, your phone as well did not die on us. <laughs> so even your network wasn't too poor. Actually, I was, uh, yeah, even, even, even some of the questions that you were asking, I was not even hearing them properly. <laughs> Of course, of course. So yeah, this is it. <laughs> no.
no, thank you for your time. Thank you for this. The video has just cut off by itself. Yes. Have a good evening. It's love and it's peace and it's chess every day. Chess and wine. Good night.